Hello everyone and welcome back. In this new lesson we are going to introduce the notion of an NGRX effect. So what is an effect and what role does it play in the store architecture? Well, going back here to our larger window where we have the dev tools open, we can see that the store is indeed similar to an in-memory database. So we can store data in it and we can query it using selectors. However, we would also like this in-memory data store to interact with, for example, a backend database. For example, we would like to be able to fetch this list of courses from a backend and store them in the store. And whenever we edit one of the courses using here the edit button, and let's say we change the title of the course, we would like to press save and have those changes immediately reflected in the UI, meaning that the store should be immediately updated with the new information without blocking the user. However, in the background, as a side effect of the modification that we just did in the store data, such as changing the title of the course, we would like the store to also save those changes to the backend. Well, that extra backend request that is synchronizing the data that we have in the store with a database is a good example of a side effect. In order to help us handle side effects in a store architecture, we have an extra NGRX library called NGRX effects. Let's then use NGRX effects in our application in order to implement some common functionality. So as you know, when we reload here our application at this point in the course, our authentication state is going to be deleted. Now we would like to implement the following. We would like our authentication state to survive browser refreshes so that after a refresh, we don't have to log in the user again. So in order to implement that, we are going to save here the authentication state locally at the level of the browser. We are going to be using in this course a local data store that we have available here which is called local storage. So local storage is a browser level data store so it's not a backend or anything it's something that gets stored here directly in your computer where your browser is installed and it's very similar to cookies. It's accessible via JavaScript and it's essentially a key value store where you can store strings. So you store a value using a given key, the value is going to be available here in local storage and you can retrieve the same value that you have stored later using the same key even after a browser refresh. So the content of local storage survives browser refreshes. So here is how we are going to be using local storage in our application. Whenever the user logs in to the application, besides adding the authentication state here at the level of the store, we are also going as a side effect of adding here the user profile, we are going to save that same user profile also here to local storage. So that's an example of a side effect. We have taken something that happened at the level of the store and we have persisted the same data in a third party system, such as, for example, local storage or a backend, etc. Now, whenever we refresh the application, we are going to fetch our user profile if it's present from local storage and we are going to immediately add it to the store. This way, our authentication state is going to survive browser refreshes as we intend. Now that we have a good overview of what we are about to implement in the next few lessons, let's switch back to our application and let's install NGRX effects on it. So the library itself, you already have it installed in node modules, it's part of your package.json. So we only have to configure the library in our application. So the first thing that we need to do is go to our application root module and not the authentication module. So we are looking here for the root module and we're going to add NGRX effects to our application. We are going to do so here at the level of our imports. Let's add here an extra import. Let's add here the effects module and let's call the for root function. So this function that is going to take here an empty array for the moment is going to initialize the global services of NGRX effects and add them to our application. Now, in a similar way to the NGRX store module, we can also have multiple feature modules in our application, such as, for example, the authentication module, which have their own side effects. 
So we are going to be adding a couple of side effects to this module in order to save our user profile and retrieve it from local storage. So we are going to open here our authentication module and we are going to add here NGRX effects as well. So here in our imports, we are going to call effects module and this time around we are going to call the for feature function. So we should call for feature for feature modules and for root for the root module. Here we are going for the moment to pass an empty array. Now this array here is going to contain the list of side effects linked to this particular module, the authentication module. So a side effect is going to be implemented under the form of an injectable Angular service. Let's then see what a side effect service looks like. In our next lesson, we're going to be implementing our first NGRX effect.